What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. And here we got Javo Draws How Trippy Red Escaped the Clout Era. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know how he did it, but he was able to get out of that necessarily mumble rap category um, before he was, before he actually transcended and, you know, became a bigger rapper than he was, you know, you know, back in 2019, 2017. Um... But he can actually rap. Like when he was when he was um when he was underground, he can actually rap. So when I remember when I first heard that song, Can You Rap Like Me, I was impressed. I wasn't I, I didn't know what to think of it. Um I was trying I was so confused about how he started rapping then and then now he started doing the screeching voice. It is it didn't make sense to me. But we're about to see how he escaped the clout era and exactly what type of steps he took to accomplish his goal. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Rap introduced a new wave in 2017, the clout era, where their social media presence was valued over their actual music. Drugged out, tattoos on their face, reckless behavior, and countless internet beefs. Clout rap was a different time, and while it quickly fell off, it seemed to do the same with its artists that were involved, except for one, and that artist, is tri 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 Flippy Red. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are. I gotta say it again. The edits are dope. He's implementing all the stuff that was from his album, like this, like this one. Um, and of course he got the the fourteen hundred. He got yeah. He whoever if he does if he does edit his own videos and does the commentary. He he deserves a bunch of subscribers. He he deserves way more subscribers than he has right now. He at, at least a hundred k, at least, at least a hundred k right now. He needs way more subscribers. You're a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a meal, Mr. Grinch. Trippy Red was making a small fan base all the way back in 2016, being collaborators with Lil Wap and Cody Shane. He went on to drop three mixtapes during this time period. In Waking My Inner Beast, He Smoke, and Rock the World Trippy. Choose your stage. Beast Mode. First smash hit. And this was actually co-produced by the legend Pierre Bourne. Pierre used to play Trippy's music at Epic Record Studio, and Trippy was starting to get noticed by the Atlanta I didn't know that. That's crazy. scene. And quickly after, he signed a 10K Projects. So after all that, Trippy Red was one of the hottest rappers to come up in 2017. With his raspy melodic voice and his ability to flow over trap and melodic beats, he was shown a spark of talent. You used to say you were love. I used to say she back. And this was especially shown in XXX Tentacion's Fuck Love which years later is now the biggest song on SoundCloud ever. Trippy's come up started to generate a major buzz with not only his sound but his character. And he was no stranger to this wave of clout rappers. Flexing. Nigga, I bought a new crib, nigga! Where is y'all view at, nigga? Rap beefs. I told you to take the rag off and I told him Imagery. Or as my mom likes to call it, the toddler with tattoos on his face. Oh, and drugs. I ain't even off nothing. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I don't do drugs. I'm trippy red, man. Right, right. I got natural high. Right, right. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Smoke a little weed. Like, That's not a fucking drug. Mother like, Nature made weed. Like, we decided to roll it in fucking leaves and smoke it. From an outside perspective, it would have looked like trippy red would have been. Listen, the, the thing about weed, I don't know. It's. I feel like anything you smoke is obviously bad. I, that's what I just feel like. Like, whatever, it doesn't matter where it comes from. If you smoke it, then I, I feel like it's bad in general if you smoke it. But I don't know. Because um, there's other ways you can um, indulge in that without having to smoke it, you know? But, like I said, it's like, yeah. And one of those rappers here and gone in the next few years, like his other competitors. But Trippy Red broke out and escaped from this era. 
How did this happen? Well, for starters, the end of the clout era was in late 2018, the most competitive year for rap music. Life's a Trip was Trippy's anticipated debut project into the mainstream, obviously having successful project with his two A Love Letter to You projects, but this was his peak of popularity at the time in his young career. But it seemed that this album was overlooked from every other project from 2018. Life's a Trip dropped a week after Astroworld by Travis Scott, same week as Nicki Minaj's Queen, a month before Kanye's Ye and Drake's Scorpion, which is the second most streamed hip hop. By the way, Drake Scorpion, that. That was like his third, I want to say his third worst album, following behind, um, honestly, never mind. Yes. Album of all time under X's question mark, which was also released in 2018. Keep in mind that J. Cole released KOD, Juice WRLD released his debut album Goodbye and Good Riddance, Lil Wayne dropped Carter 5, Post Malone released Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Wow. 2018 was an amazing year, and maybe it was the greatest year ever for rap. And I didn't even name all the great projects that came out that year. So Trippy not getting the recognition could have been because of this reason, or it could have been because of the never ending beef with 6ix9ine. Trippy wasn't taken seriously as an artist. A year after, Trippy released Exclamation Point, which was a tribute to X's question mark. And this came out in my sophomore year after my first breakup. Jivo was going through it, okay? But I remember vividly listening to this album for weeks upon end. And yet this was another album that was overlooked and judged from the beginning. This was because people realized just how good Life's a Trip was prior. I see this as a constant trend with Trippy's project. People having mixed feelings and then getting nostalgia from it with time. Trippy has found success writing off new trends in music and has honestly been very versatile through his whole discography. His last three projects have been Rock, Rage, and Detroit Rap. Now finally he's coming back to his niche with his final installment to the Love Letter to You series. So the actual title of the video, how did Trippy Red escape the clout era? Well, because he's actually a talented artist. He cared about his craft and evolved it over the years. Trippy Red is the only clout rapper to make it out of the 2017 clout era, or at least the only artist that is taken seriously. It's always common for Trippy fans to say, we want old Trippy. And this is compared with any artist. Trippy Red was actually called a little Uzi clone back in the day, yeah. which I don't even hear. But Uzi came up in the SoundCloud scene and has always been told that they want his old sound. But that's not realistic. Sure, an artist can try and- One thing I can respect about Trippy Red though is that his- his music, he even though he didn't um he started I well he started from what I know he started from rap, um when I went back to his old um music, when I heard that one song, um one thing I can respect is that he didn't just he didn't just do rap and he didn't even though he didn't just do rap he did other stuff as well other genres but it wasn't mediocre he at least tried to um implement um himself into it he just didn't rip off anybody and everything because he went to other genres and stuff like that as he became a bigger artist you know he dabbled in this he dabbled in that but still was able to to form it into his own sound it wasn't a it wasn't like a copy and paste type thing you know so even though i don't really like trippy red all that much you know he 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 does do good with um um use like going to other genres and like making it making it his own making it enjoyable to listen to and um you know actually being good in that in that um category in that craft so you know i gotta respect him for that and fit the style of the music but it will never be the same because the artists have gotten older and have evolved as musicians and people what fans really miss is the nostalgia not the music because from our perspective, Trippy Red has grown so much as an artist throughout the years and gained respect in the rap game. Last year, I got the opportunity to go to the So What Fest with DC The Don's team, and I got to meet some really dope people. But when the night was wrapping up and it came down to Trippy Red being the last performance and the headliner of the festival, I knew I had to experience the energy in the crowd for myself. The energy was just unmatched. Everyone there was singing every word to not just his old music, but his music he released a year prior. It was definitely an exciting experience for me. I would say for the most part that Trippy has really surprised rap as a whole, becoming one of the highest praised rappers. But there's always those people that want to just be different saying he fell off. And I swear people try to say this every single year. And now some are speculating that he's going through an identity crisis as an artist. I just don't think some people are willing to admit how consistent this man has been over the years. 
If you're a fan of hip hop, you're gonna hear about Trippy Red, if you like him or not. It's fucking Trippy Red. Um, but yeah, so he does um edit um his own videos. That's fire. That's fire. Listen, this this was a great video. There was a point in time where I didn't know where Trippy Red's career was gonna go because he it was like he was stuck in that that odd that odd um that odd period in his career to where you didn't know if he was gonna evolve from what he was before or was he gonna fall back into that hole like other rappers has and like just fall off as a whole. Um. But he, but like I said, he started he started gravitating to different genres, and you know, he he did what he did, you know, tried to make the best of it, and it worked. And he obviously became a big artist, you know. Was starting to get respect from other people, started collaborating with all these different artists that was that was coming up just like he did, and he made he made it work. So, um, like I said, that I can respect. Javo draws. This was a great video. Your editing skills are is on a whole different level. It's on a whole different level. Um the, the, yeah. Hey, one day maybe maybe we you know you and I can work together, you know, you know, create something special. Um for each of for each of our channels. So that you know that would that would be great because I'm not gonna lie, right now editing skills, you're like at least top three. If not, you if not I got you number one, because yeah. And your commentary is great too. Your commentary is good. You do you do your research, you know? And you know, and it helps that you that you in you know in tune with the artist or the person that you're um, talking about because it makes it a whole a whole lot easier. So yeah, this is a great video. Um but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys um, want to see next down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.